Here is why Roque Crepe Repair Face and Neck Cream is superior to Creme de la Mer. First of all, Roque Crepe Repair is $29.99, not $380. They both have the same targets. They both are rich creams that hydrate, moisturise, smooth, dry, crepey skin. They're both anti-aging, fills out lines and wrinkles, reduce redness and a firming and lifting effect on the skin. However, Rock Crepe Repair has a potent antioxidant formula that contains hexyl resorcinol, which is an antioxidant that brightens the skin, so it addresses hyperpigmentation. We have six pure oils of sweet almond, avocado, macadamia, jojoba, safflower, and linseed oils. And we also have a very special ingredient that is clinically proven to mimic Botox. So basically, we're talking about Botox in a jar. Watch the full video to find out more. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well tonight. So today's video, as you will have guessed, is all about Rock Multi Correction Crep Repair Face and Neck Cream. Now, you're going to want to get yourself a refreshment because this video, as usual, is going to be in depth. I don't deal with any fluff here. And I'm going to tell you why this cream is better than Creme de la Mer, believe it or not. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Quick intro about me before we get right into depth here. So, my name is Anne Britt. I'm a beauty therapist, holistic therapist. I've been in the skincare and beauty industry for 30 years now. So, if you would like skincare advice from somebody who is certified and, as I say, in America licensed, then hit that like and subscribe button. So, first of all, here's what I want to say. Let's address creme de la mer first. Now, a two ounce size of creme de la mer is $380. Multi correction crepe repair is 1.7 ounce. So $380 versus $29.99. I have very good reason to compare these two products because let me tell you why. First of all, let's address creme de la mer. So the target is the exact same. I will explain in a second. And some of the ingredients are the same. Guess what? The book crepe repair has much more wow ingredients and it actually has a natural Botox alternative. So please watch the whole video because we are going deep here. So first of all, creme de la mer, what does it claim? So it's a cream that's ultra rich, the same as this. So the same targets is for lifting, for firming, it heals dryness, gives the skin, makes the skin very smooth and supple, it's anti-aging, it enhances elasticity and it soothes irritation, redness, the same, and diminishes wrinkles and fine lines. Now, let's talk about the ingredients in Creme de la Mer and then we're going to get into rock crepe repair. In Creme de la Mer we have algae, which is a seaweed extract. Now, that has superb anti-aging benefits many benefits similar to marine hyaluronics from the ordinary algae is fantastic it's full of antioxidants has a lot of anti-aging properties and promotes collagen and elastin production we have glycerin which is just a regular humectant <coughs> extremely moisturizing we have lime extract sesame seed oil sunflower oil eucalyptus seed oil sweet almond oil copper magnesium Copper, magnesium and zinc glutamate. Now, you will see the similarities once I go into crepe repair ingredients. But first of all, let me say, yes, we have some ingredients that are fantastic here in creme de la mer, but guess what? We also have a couple of ones that are not so good at all. Mineral oil, I don't know, it's very cheap for a very cheap ingredient that I actually stay away from for such an expensive cream. Another key ingredient that I would not put on my face is lanolin. Now lanolin is derived from sheep's wool, right? And it's a popular ingredient when you're breastfeeding for cracked nipples. It's also good for dry skin, but it's extremely comedogenic, which means it blocks your pores. Now, in Crip Repair, the ingredients, nothing is comedogenic. It's all non-comedogenic. So, first up, that's a huge difference. So Crep Repair, the targets are, it's going to fill out lines and wrinkles, it's extremely hydrating, very good for dry, crepey skin, it plumps the skin up, plumps them creases, it's a rich cream, it's extremely hydrating and smooths the skin, improves the skin tone, sagging skin, firm the skin, exact same as Creme de la Mer, just different wording slightly. So 
let's talk about the fabulous ingredients in Crepe Prepare. And first of all, let me tell you, I have been using this cream now in the morning for three and a half weeks and the difference in my skin is unbelievable. Let me just tell you something, right? I'm 52, okay. As we get on two years now into menopause, your skin, I had extremely oily skin. So I was lucky in one sense because you do not age as quick, obviously because you have that extra sebum. But when you approach menopause and when you're into menopause, the collagen and elastin and the sebum production drastically decreases. I've had fillers, I've never had Botox, nothing like that. I rely on good, diligent skincare. And I'm not throwing no shade to anybody who has, I don't mean anything like that. We all have our own choices, but for me, you know, I would just prefer to try and delay the aging process with good skincare. So, now let's talk about the ingredients in this fabulous cream and I am going to also show you me using the cream on my face and neck and as you will gather, <clears throat> as you will remember, the last video that we did was about crepe repair targeted treatment, more so for the body, the elbows, the knees, I apply it on my decollete and I also use it on my feet also. Now I bought this, I don't know if I said in my last video, but I bought these two in a set because this is $29.99 on its own and so is this one. So you're saving $9. And it came in this little tote here <clears throat> from Rock. So you're always better buying your skincare in sets with Rock Skincare. You'll get much better value for your money. So <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the ingredients that are in here. Now, first of all, I think the best way to do this is address the seawater first. Oh, de la mer, and that's what gave me the idea about researching creme de la mer and then I've seen so many similarities with a few of the ingredients but also that just clicked and that's why I am comparing this. So we have the interesting ingredient of eau de mer, let me practice my French, which is seawater. Now you may be wondering what does that do for your skin? Well it's loaded with magnesium, potassium and calcium minerals, it purifies and exfoliates the skin, it conditions the skin naturally and also it, the magnesium locks in moisture, so good for cell regeneration and mature skin reduces fine lines. So just the same as the targeted treatment, we have the famous ingredient, it took seven years of research, hexoresorcinol, which is a brightening agent which addresses hyperpigmentation. Avocado oil is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids and vitamins A, D and E. Easily absorbed by the skin, it nourishes and moisturises the skin. It's full of antioxidants and vitamins and it heals dry, flaky skin. So it's actually good for eczema and psoriasis. It heals wounds on the skin. It promotes collagen production, retains, a sorry, retains elasticity and is anti-aging. Now that's just one oil. Next up we have Yahopa seed oil, which is rich in vitamin E. It's anti-inflammatory, very healing for dry skin. Um, <clears throat> Good for, anti good for inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis. So as you can tell, this is a fabulous cream for mature skin that, you know, unfortunately we just get drier as we get older and also for extremely dry, sensitive, reactive skin. So, sweet almond oil that soothes the skin, excellent for dry skin, has vitamins A and E, it's rich in antioxidants, and it's anti-aging and reduces, reduces the signs of aging and reduces um, fade scar tissues also. Safflower seed oil, which is antioxidants, vitamins A and E, good for inflammatory skin conditions, again, like eczema, linoleic, rich in linoleic acid, and maintains a healthy skin barrier, so it keeps the moisture in. And seed oil, also known as flaxseed oil, that's very high in omega-3 fatty acids. It's very healing on the skin, good for dermatitis, reduces redness in the skin, so also rosacea skin types, and it's anti-inflammatory. Macadamia seed oil, which is high in oleic and linoleic fatty acids. It's very hydrating and moisturizing. It's healing, it slows the aging process, and it improves scar tissue. So it's high in oleic, linoleic, stearic and palmate acids. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles, rapid moisture to the skin, it's non-comedogenic, it restores and protects the skin barrier, 
excellent for eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, skin conditions, eczema, anti-inflammatory, boost collagen and high in antioxidants. So, these next two ingredients, let me tell you about these. Now we do have a Chinese herb extract which is called, now I'm going to put it on the screen because this is definitely a tongue twister, it's called Astragalus membraceus root. Now that is a Chinese herb which is for the skin, it's full of bioactive compounds, it's very tonifying for the skin, so it reinforces the properties so it's an anti-aging ingredient. It smooths, it hydrates and it firms the skin. But as I said, I have saved the best for last. So drum roll, doo -doo -doo -doo, the last ingredient is what I was talking about. And I was amazed when I re researched this ingredient. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is the natural alternative to Botox. So the natural alternative to Botox is Spilantis, Acmela, flower, leaf and stem extract. I will write it on the screen because, yeah, as you can tell, these are tongue twisters. But let me tell you about the research that they're doing this. This is amazing. So, this ingredient is anti-aging, smoothing. It's a traditional medicinal remedy, right? So, for example, they used an infusion of leaves and flowers. It was used as a remedy for toothache. Now, you understand why I'm getting to this. It has analgesic properties. But in skincare, it's a muscle relaxing known as a my myo-relaxing properties, helping to block the muscle contractions that lead to wrinkles, expression lines. So, crow's feet, laughter lines, nasolabial lines, your elevens, and your frown lines. So, a study, an in vitro study, reported noticeable improvement in skin wrinkles parameters so it is considered the natural alternative to Botox. Now isn't that something? Because I was quite I was amazed because it wasn't just the general health of my skin that has improved with this. I basically feel like you know how they say Stella got her groove back? I feel like this is like Stella got her glow back because my skin, I would say on a good day it's combination now, but it is getting drier because you know, you know I'm 52, what do you expect? But it's not just the glow, the hydration. I'm honestly seeing a reduction in lines and not as noticeable. Of course, it's just a cream, I know that, but I am a strong believer in you know, Chinese Ayurvedic ingredients that are extremely powerful because I know I have did Ayurvedic treatments in this spa and trust me, you would be amazed at what it can do for the body and for the skin. skincare lovers, let's apply Correct Repair. So I have double cleansed, took my makeup off for the evening, Saturday night. I will edit this tomorrow because I'm dying to eat something and watch a movie because I recorded this after work, remember? So here is this luscious cream. I'm going to apply on my face and neck. Now, although this cream is extremely hydrating, it does not feel greasy, as a complaint I heard about creme de la mer. And by the way, I have tested creme de la mer in a department store. I have never purchased it because I like affordable skincare just like you guys. So just apply after your serums. Your skin is still damp, and the only other thing I have on is you know my favorite eye cream, retinol correction. So enjoy the video tonight about crepe repair, and trust me. It'll be the best 29 you you ever spent because this cream is absolutely fabulous. As you can tell, I don't think I've done a video as long as this and detailed on just one cream. So, until the next skincare video, I'm going to say adios over and out and have a fabulous weekend. Bye!